Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made these really cute lace and fringe stockings and these little wooden name tags. Don't forget to click the description below, it shows you all the helpful links where I got all this stuff and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do and don't forget to click that notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Alright, let's begin. To get that giant boot shape template, I just googled Christmas stockings and I just like the shape of this one and what I did, I just opened the preview and I zoomed in and I taped a bunch of regular printer papers together and I put it like that and I just traced it and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with felt fabric and each stocking needs one piece of the felt fabric stocking shape. I'm going to fold my felt fabric so I can cut out four pieces at the same time. And instead of cutting around the paper, I just like to trace the shape first. And then I use my return knife blade to cut all the pieces out together. Okay, so for my stockings, I am using this linen fabric and for each stocking, I'm going to need two pieces of the boot shape cut out. And I just like to cut them all together. So I folded all my fabric and again, I traced the boot and I'm gonna use rotary knife blade to cut them all out. So with the fabric facing me the right side up, I'm just going to lay down these lace and fringe pieces how I would like them to be placed on my stocking. And I got all these lace from Etsy shops. Um, they cost really cheap compared to if I were to go to like stores Joann's or Michael's. I'm not sure how, but I missed recording this part. So I pinned down all the lace pieces, all the fringe pieces. And then after that, I just used my regular sewing machine and I sewed all the pieces like all across. Okay, after all the lace and fringe is sewed on, I have my stocking laying face up, the right side up. And then I'm going to place the second piece. This is the back piece of the stocking and I'm gonna lay it down facing down. So the wrong side is facing me. And then I get the felt piece and I place it on top of that. And now I'm gonna grab my pins and I'm just gonna pin all around. I'm gonna sew the whole stocking. You could use a regular sewing machine. I did end up using my serger because then it just cut off all the all the sticking out pieces on the sides for me versus me just grabbing scissors after and doing it myself. Once that's done, I'm just gonna flip them the right side up and I'm going to grab my fur fabric. And the way I like to cut the fur fabric is I just make a little cut and then I rip it. So that way there's not a bunch of cut off fur getting in the way. And I just did like a little strip, whatever looked good on top of my stocking. I'm going to fold it in half around the top of the stocking, cut it off. And then I'm going to sew the side of it using my hand needle and um, upholstery thread. Before I attach the fur, I'm going to add these strings so I can hang up my stockings. And the string is kind of, it's like a shoelace. Um, I also got it on Etsy. And I'm going to glue on each side of the corners of the stockings. I'm just using regular hot glue. And I did end up surging the edges of the stockings on top so the fabric on top doesn't fray. 
you can also fold it over and just sew a regular stitch around it. You won't see it because the fur will be covering it anyways. How I attach the fur to the stockings, I just kind of slip it over the stocking on top and then I use hot glue gun and just the top edges, that's where I put the glue and then I press the fabric with the fur down together and that's it and I go all around and he glues it and he actually holds it I do have another video I have different stockings that have fur as well these are the stockings and I did them three years ago and I still have them and for three years I did hang them up and um, now that I have kids I'd wanted to make new ones for the kids instead of my dogs and yeah so the fur will hang on with just the glue all right, and this is how I made my own pom-poms. And in order for them to be all the same size, I used this container and I traced circles on the fur fabric. Um, this container, it's about four inches. So the circles are four inches and you need two circles per stocking because I'm going to put on two balls on each one. After tracing all the circles, I did eight total because I'm going to have four stockings. I'm going to cut them out using scissors. Okay, after I cut out my circles, I'm just going to grab my one of my big sewing needles and upholstery thread, and I'm going to tie a knot at the edge of the circle that just so the thread doesn't come out. I'm gonna sew all the way around the circle, all the way to where I have first started sewing. And once that's done, I'm just going to use like leftover fur and I'm going to stuff the ball and I'm going to tighten it really hard like the, so the hole closes. Okay. And so I just use the same string, that little shoelace looking string and I tied a bow uh, and that's what I'm going to attach the fur balls to. Before I attach the balls, I did end up tying all the bows for as many stockings as I need so they're all even. And then I'm going to just use a little drop of glue in that little ball opening and put the string in there so it's being held in place while I sew the little hole shut. For these name tags, what I did, I used this fake suede strings. I cut about 22 inches and then I fold them in half and I slipped these large wooden beads on them. I did three of them and then I tied a knot. And then I attached them to these wooden name tags that... I painted I did make them I do have another video there's a tutorial on how you can make these name tags using your Cricut maker I have it linked in the description below Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do also don't forget to check out my store www.jeanastar.com where i sell my handmade baby accessories and other cutest little items all right thank you bye